U.S. Entertainment created a promising five-member girl group known as Bad Kids. Active between the years of 2014 to 2020 before it was announced that they had disbanded. Or did they? Well, let's talk about it. Gina, Monica, Yunji, Bomb Bomb, and Yunju debuted on March 24th, 2014, with the single Ear Attack. <laughs> What an interesting debut, you guys. I can honestly say I've never heard anything like this, whatever that was before, like ever. <laughs> the vibes of this song is very much giving to me like trot mixed with club dance. I actually really like the song, especially the chorus. The dance they do in the video is pretty lit too. I was actually very impressed. Um, I wasn't even mad at the outfits. They're a little low budget, sure, but, you know, it's their debut and it's a smaller company. But they look great, in my opinion. The ladies are calling everyone around the world to gather and bear witness to their ear attack. <laughs> so the single placed number 59 on the charts and it sold over 41.8K copies. Shortly after their debut, Yunji and Yunju left the group. They were replaced with Hana and Yumin. On November 13th, 2014, Bad Kiss came back with the single Babomba. This video was hilarious. And for good reason, too. It garnered a lot of attention during its release because the ladies had the help of many well-known comedians in the video. Their dancing was so extra and strong, but I loved it. I feel like they're just as silly and dramatic as the comedians are in the video. It was a pretty cool upbeat dance type song, and I really enjoyed it. Yumin, Gina, Hana, and Bum Bum decided to leave Bad Kiss in 2015. They were replaced with Hanul, Lua, and K Mi. On August 7th, 2015, the ladies came back with the single Come Closer. Oh, so sexy. <laughs> This was a super funky and sexy comeback. Definitely like their best song at this point that was out. I love the outfits in this video and they all looked very happy and so beautiful. The dance is of course super alluring and eye-catching. I actually really liked it. You know, they're doing their little thing, shaking their little derriere. The song is suggesting that the ladies are enticing their romantic interest into spending the night with them. The song is decent to listen to and it just makes me want to dance, but I wasn't like super, super crazy about it. Still better than the last two to by far though so shortly after bad kiss's last comeback hanul left the group she was replaced with uc and soman on august 15 2016 bad kiss came back with the single hate <laughs> Ready?
This comeback is pretty similar to Come Closer as it plays on those saxophone elements. I believe that's saxophone. And then also like with the choreography, Hate is a little bit more upbeat though. The ladies are confidently telling their love interest to step up and spend some time with them because they know just how irresistible they are. I do think the song is kind of lazy for the company to just push out considering they just did this type of concept on the last comeback, but that's just my opinion. It's still a pretty decent song. I actually like Come Closer better, but you know, they're both worth a listen to. On November 21st, 2016, the ladies came back with a remake of their debut single called Ear Attack 2. There is so much going on with this comeback. I have to say, I absolutely love the outfits in this video and the choreography The choreography is pretty decent. I'm not a fan of the elevated, high-pitched voices, so I definitely will not be listening to this song again. When I was younger, I used to listen to nightcore versions of my favorite songs, but hearing Air Attack 2 lets me know that those days are long behind me. The song was definitely an attack on my ears. The video, though, is interesting to watch. Like I said, there's there's so much to unpack here, but it's fun, to say the least. After their last promotions, Lua left the group. She was replaced with Duna. On July 3rd, 2017, the ladies came back with the single, Give It To Me. Give to me. Probably one of their top songs for me personally. This sexy, upbeat song is way better than the last two projects in my opinion. I absolutely love the white outfits with the gold chains. There's just something so regal and majestic and elegant about white being paired with gold. So love that. The dance is also pretty decent as well. The ladies went back to their familiar jazzy sound, but it suits them and I'm not mad at it. After their last promotions, Duna and UC left the group. They were replaced with Lo He. At the beginning of 2018, Sol B performed with Bad Kiss. It was also announced that Monica had left the group as well, who was like one of the last original members who like debuted with the group in the beginning. Like she left, so that was that. On April 6, 2018, Bad Kiss came back with the single Just One Day. <laughs> Now this was another fantastic song by the ladies. They looked amazing in this video with the outfit choices. I also really liked the choreography in this comeback. It was sexy but not like over the top or just focused on that one body part like some of their previous works. This song also sounds different from their others. It's more... I don't know how you say like tropical sounding. I don't know if that's even a good way of describing it. But basically it just sounds like a really good feel good song to me. And I think their agency was getting better at producing a more cohesive sound for the ladies. They kind of left that super dramatic trot like music in the past and started giving them more, you know, current and I don't know, just more relatable or like just better sounding songs at this point. So shortly afterwards, Sol B, Kabe Mi, and Lo He left the group and was replaced with Han Bit, Ha Young, and Si Hyun. So Men also changed her stage name to Kira. Come 2019, Bad Kiss rebranded themselves as Hot Place. Ha Young ended up leaving the group and was replaced with Teddy. On March 29th, 2019, Hot Place released their debut EP called Hot Place in the title track TMI. <laughs> I 
I can tell a lot of effort was put into this re-debut, more so than any of their previous projects. The song is actually decent. Wasn't crazy about it, but it was I was like really impressed with the execution of the whole project. I loved their outfits and the dance, of course. The video is pretty funny and entertaining seeing as it's a breakup song. This was like the best quality video that you know the company had produced for the ladies thus far so kudos to them on that for like really trying this time and it seemed like this debut garnered a lot of attention from the public list as well like the video got millions of views it's probably like i don't know my probably one of the like best projects put out um yeah it was pretty good so come 2020 Teddy and Sihan have also exited the group. The agency changed the group's name back to Bad Kiss after that point. By April, Bad Kiss welcomed three new members by the names of Semi and Rosie. Han Bit also changed her name to Seon. After failing to raise enough funds for their Make Star campaign, members Seon, Eunyu, Semi, and Rosie confirmed that the group had disbanded on October 14th, 2020. Or at least that's what we thought. On September 14th, 2022, the ladies announced on their Instagram that they are back together and plan on making a comeback. So far, you see Rosie, Soon, and So Men are confirmed to be in the group. Bad Kiss released one EP and eight singles during their time performing thus far. Well, there you have it, folks. The tumultuous journey of Bad Kiss. I've actually never heard of this group before ever, and I haven't even come across any of their songs until it was requested that I did a video on them. I hope that I did them a little justice. If I missed some information or if I got some things wrong, please forgive me. Like I said, this is my first time even hearing about this group, and because they are a lesser-known group and from like an even lesser-known company, information on them was like very scarce and kind of conflicting as well so I tried my best to put forth what I thought the information was if I got anything wrong like I said please forgive me um but I did try my best it's just really mind-boggling to me like the most interesting thing that I found while I was researching them was how many women left the group and how they just kept recycling them like they pretty much should have had like a admissions graduation type concept at that point because the group was like a revolving door of members why do you guys think they ended up disbanding in the first place and why do you think so many of the women left i got like some explanations on some why some of the women left and then others it was just never any explanation so i pretty much didn't like include that information because i just felt like it would be unfair to say why this person left but not say why that person left because of limited information if that makes sense so just let me know your like your overall thoughts on bad kids did you guys know who they were who was your favorite member and what was your favorite song until the next video i will see you all around masalam